Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to start this video since it's been so long since I've done Sunday at all. I decided to go ahead and just intro and um, kind of share what the plan is for this yard. I sprayed dandelion doom on the weeds in the yard. Um, I was able to eradicate some weeds. There are still a ton of weeds in this yard, but um, there are patches where I can tell that it, it killed some things, which is perfect. So we did that and I was planning on spraying Sunday the same day, but then I realized that I was really supposed to wait, um, not only to wait for after spraying dandelion doom to give the time, give the plants time to die, um, but I also needed to wait a little bit longer into the season when it was just a tad bit warmer and there were some other prerequisites. So one of the things that they recommend is that you water your yard the day before you use Sunday. You don't water it the day after and you don't cut your grass to up to two days after you apply it. And this time of year, it's very hard to find the right amount of time uh, in between rain and storms and all of that where we live. So today is a little bit ahead of the schedule. They wanted me to do this on April 2nd. Um, it is March 31st. So I think I'm close enough, but next week is gonna be a lot of rain and we're traveling. So this is my window. Tomorrow is no rain. Yesterday was rain. I mowed the grass yesterday. So we are good to go. And I am getting ready to head out into the grass to put this out. So come along with me. Alright, I have finished spraying the backyard and the front yard in every section. I think I went a little bit, uh, what's the word, easy on the backyard because I wanted to make sure I didn't run out just because I've never done it in this yard before. And I have a good bit left in the bag. So what I've decided I'm going to do, and I'm not going to show me doing this, but um, I'm going to go back over a couple of the spots in the backyard that are exceptionally 
poor quality. So um, there's a few patches where you can really see what I'm talking about, kind of like right there. And then over by the trampoline, that section, it's just a lot of dirt. And there is grass that grows there, but it's, it's just such different soil that like this section up here, I mean, it's already a lot more lush. And I, I don't really know why that side of the yard is so much worse than this side. Even right here, it's very, um, a lot of dirt and barrenness. And then of course the spots that I am working to fill in. So I'm gonna spray some of that to finish off the bag. And then that will be it for now. And then we just wait and see. Um, I just took a bunch of photos so I can kind of look at the next time that we do an application, which I think is either late May or early June. And then another one, maybe in September. I can't remember. There's three applications total. So we should see a big improvement based on my first year of doing Sunday, which was in 2020. Um, and that was of course a different yard, but it was, it was really remarkable how much the, the yard improved. So I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe. Of course, my channel is kind of a hodgepodge of things. It's not all yard and garden. Um, I do have other more personal slash homeschool things, but um, I do seem to um, keep a lot of people interested with the yard perspective. And I wonder if it's just because I'm a stay at home homeschool mom instead of a lawn care professional. Uh, and so maybe I just have a different angle that other people don't, but whatever it may be, um, I'm definitely not a professional. So any questions you have, I will try to answer, but most likely I'll just go look on Sunday's website and answer from there. So anyways, be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.